much debated electoral amendment act is lawful that's the ruling today by the constitutional court following a bid to rule it otherwise by the independent candidates association the ICA applied to the apex court in August challenging the constitutionality of independent candidates only being allowed to contest 200 of the 400 seats in the National Assembly the organization wanted independent candidates to be allowed to contest 350 seats but the Constitutional Court says the ICA has failed to prove its argument. Let's get the reaction now of the ICA. I'm joined by Dr. Michael Louis, the founder of the ICA. Michael, good afternoon. Welcome to today. You lost your constitutional bid. How do you feel? Well, that's a loaded question, Dan. Obviously, we want to win these um, constitutional cases. But forever and a day, uh, we'll be pleased that um, as the ICA, we challenge this bill or this act, I must say, because um, you know that if we had an election and one of the political parties or the independent candidates were not satisfied with the result, all they would have done is to say that the act is unconstitutional. Now we know what the constitutional court's judgment is and that they've laid a foundation for um, an electoral act to govern us for the next 50 years. So um, sad, but um, it's a journey and we continue to, to walk this journey to improve our democracy. So at the minimum, you're saying, Michael, you've removed any doubts about whether or not the provisions for the number of seats that independents can uh, contest for in a national and provincial election has now been set, and that's good enough. Yes, you are sad having lost, but constitutionally now everybody knows where you stand. 